Good morning. It is Monday, April 13th, and we are doing Women in the Easter Story, which is from the YouVersion app. It's written by Sabrina McDonald, and it's brought to you by Family Life. And today we're talking Jesus Knows You by Name. So when you just stop to think about that, how Jesus actually knows you by name, it's kind of just like, it's hard to wrap our minds around, isn't it? That he knows each of us by name. And she mentions in Psalm 139, 1 through 4, and I just wanted to kind of start with that. Lord, you have searched me and known me. You know when I sit down and when I stand up. You understand my thoughts from far away. You observe my travels and my rest. You are aware of all my ways. Before a word is on my tongue, you know all about it, Lord. And right now, there have been days where I'll pray and I'll say, God, I just like... Remember me, remember us, remember us right here. And um, just with everything that's happened, we just I just kind of get this feeling like, hello, do you, do you remember us? But he knows our name. It says right here, you know me. He knows me and my heart more than I do. You know when I sit down and when I stand up. I'm like, that's, it's such a little thing. And he, and he knows it. Um, you understand my thoughts from a far away. There are so many days right now where I'm just like, feel like I can't concentrate on something. I mean, the longer this quarantine goes on, the more you, you kind of get into a rhythm of, of things, <laughs> a crazy rhythm because really it's nothing that you can plan. And it says, you understand my thoughts from far away. And that just really brought me comfort to think about that. Because it, my thoughts sometimes get so tangled up in my head and he knows them. He says, you observe my travels from one room in the house to the next and my rest. I feel like we needed a lot of rest right now. Um, you are aware of all my ways. Before a word is on my tongue, you know all about it, Lord. So... I was thinking about this. I worked on it yesterday and um, thinking about it and I'm like, this is a good one. You know, that part where it says in Psalm 139, before word is on my tongue, you know all about it, Lord. So a friend of mine sent me this book at Christmas and, she, and he was like, um, she's a really good um, author. She's my pastor's wife and I think you're really going to like it. And I was like, it's a pretty cover. I don't feel like I need breakthrough right now. So anyway, I'm praying. There's this part that hits me and I'm praying it. I'm and I'm just stop and look out the window. I'm praying it this morning. And um, I get an email actually from our church and it says, join us in prayer. It was the exact words I had just prayed in this book. I mean, I just love how God knows our brain, knows knows the thought process, knows what we need, and I didn't know I needed it. Like, I looked at this book, and I'm like, that was really sweet of him to send this to me. I really meant to read it. I had not once picked it up, and I just started it yesterday, and it is. It's, it's a good book. So, um, anyway, I just love how God does all those things, and I was thinking about this where it says, Jesus knows you by name, and I wanted to tell you this funny story because it's Monday. What, what else do we have? So, we used to live in this old farmhouse, and, um, so it was very old, it was very rough, very small, very, very thankful for it. That's what it was. And um, so our bedroom was right next to these stairs that came downstairs and they were, you know, the staircase. And um, it was a two story farmhouse and you could hear the kids when they would wake up because there was no carpet. And um, you could hear the little bare feet, flop, 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 flop. And I could tell, I could be in bed, I could be anywhere in the house, and I could hear those little feet, and I would know exactly which one of my four boys was coming down the steps. And that's just like that, you know, I was home with them all the time, they were with me all the time, and I just knew those things. And um, it's funny, because I was thinking about that when I was reading this, and how I, I knew that so well, and I thought, do I, do I still recognize their footprints? You know their footfalls and I was paying attention yesterday when they were coming in and out of the door because all four of them were home and my husband and I was like every time one of them went out the door and came back in I'm like yep that's that's Jake that's Andrew that's Isaac that's Eli that's Abe I, 
I don't know it as well though, because I'm not with them all the time. We're not all together all the time. Um, they've gotten older, they have different lives, but I still recognized it. And I was thinking about that when I was doing this lesson. And, you know, we always are wanting to hear, at least I, I always want to hear from God. And I'm always praying God fill me up. And I'm always like, oh, I really, I really wish I could hear from God. I, I tell you all the time, I wish there was a soundtrack that would be like, oh, good news, or ooh, stay away from that. Like, I always want that. And when they say that the Holy Spirit within us is better than um, what the disciples had when they were with Jesus, I always, I always kind of want to argue that point. Like, really? Really? Because Jesus was with them. So they could say, hey, you know, I have this question, or I don't understand, and he could answer them with words that they knew. So, but it says that the Holy Spirit in us is, is better than what the disciples had with Jesus. So I was thinking about that too. And then today, to read my devotions, to read my Bible reading, to read this book, to have this prayer from church, to have it all line, I'm like, I guess you couldn't speak more clearly to me, God. I you just couldn't. And that's the kind of stuff that happens. Not like I have it totally figured out. It was just a great example God gave me today to share with you because the more time you spend with God, the the more you hear his voice like that. I mean, I spent some time looking on my phone today too, but if I hadn't taken the time to get into this devotional book I'm reading, the Bible, the study that we're doing, if I hadn't taken the time to do it, I would have missed it. And God really spoke to me in a big way today with all that stuff. And um, I just really wanted to share that. You, you need to be in his word. You need to, the more you're in his word is the more time you're spending with him. So then you, you hear his voice when he talks to you. So anyway, to wrap this up, I wanted to read from um, the devotional. Jesus knows you by name. This is the woman in his in the Easter story from the U version app, brought to you by Family Life and written by Sabrina McDonald. I'm gonna say it a million times because I want to make sure everyone knows I did not write this. So it says, we all have those people in our lives, and we can recognize just by the way they say our names. It's usually a spouse, a mother, or father, someone you have a close re personal relationship with, someone who loves you. Mary had that kind of relationship with Jesus. She had heard that familiar affection, and she knew his voice even when she didn't recognize his resurrected body. His voice was so familiar that she could distinguish it from anyone else. Now, just, just pause. Think about that. She looked at him and didn't even recognize him. He was unrecognizable, but she heard his voice and knew it was him. I mean, anyway, mind blowing. If you belong to God, he knows your name and he's calling you, but do you recognize his voice? Set your heart today to know him as well as Mary did. And so during this time of quarantine, and we joke that we have all the time in the world, but yes, I have much slower mornings and I'm loving that but I'm also in some ways busier because it's all the things with the family and the coming up with the different meals and that's like a what can we find today it's it's baking the bread it's baking all the things I'm so thankful for it but I wouldn't say that I'm just sitting here going Cal I wish I had something to do I I haven't not once not once thought that um, and I don't think a lot of you have either. And so we joke that we have all the time in the world, but we have different time in the world. We still have that same 24 hours. It's just what we're doing with that time. And I'm just really gonna encourage you. And I think as we wrap up this study tomorrow and then we're continuing, I don't know where the what, but we will continue with something. That's one thing I really wanna concentrate on is, is getting to know the God who created us the God who knows us by name, the God who gave us a new name in the book of life, the God who knows our very thoughts before we even think them, the God who, or, who, who protects us, who walks us, who knows when we stand up and when we walk from room to room to room in our house. He knows all those things. So why wouldn't we want to know him? Anyway, I want you to think on that. 
and um, we'll see what we come up with for the rest of the week. But tomorrow we are going to wrap up Women in the Easter Story. So if you read day seven of the devotion, which is on the Version app, you'll be all caught up. And I'm telling you right now, it's a pretty good one. So I'll see you tomorrow.